And First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has lobbied stakeholders and communities to support the adoption of alternative rites of passage to replace female genital mutilation. The First Lady asked anti-FGM campaigners to adopt the alternative rites of passage, urging responsible state agencies not to relent in its efforts to end the retrogressive practice. The first lady who spoke in Nairobi on Monday when she launched the Johari Beads Bracelet Initiative's market scoop study and business model. A program aimed at promoting trade in beads in support of efforts to end FGM in the country by next year urged for a strong momentum towards eliminating FGM, saying this country owes it to its women and girls. She lauded the Johari Business Initiative, saying it has the potential to significantly empower women from the pastoral and other communities that practice beadwork. An emblem of the eradication of FGM. More importantly, they have become a key source of income for women in the seven counties where this cultural practice is most prevalent. West Pokot, Baringo, Samburu, Tukana, Narok, Masabit and Kajiado. The proposal to take girls through a 15-day initiation program comprising of sessions on mentorship into adulthood, healthy relationships, life skills training, basic home economics, and the art of bead making is welcome and a way forward. The First Lady pointed out that FGM poses long-term health risk to young women and often leads to school dropouts and early marriages, thus compromising the opportunities for social and economic advancement for the affected girls. To achieve gender equality as required by our Constitution 2010 and ensure that Kenyan women realize their full potential, we must end FGM. She observed that the initiative has become a key source of income for women in the seven pastoralist counties of West Pokot, Baringo, Samburu, Tukana, Narok, Marsabit and Kajiado, where FGM is most prevalent, saying it was commendable that the program has reached over 5,000 women and helped them to establish 60 cooperative societies. <laughs> Sports and Culture Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed said the initiative is beginning to gain attraction globally and it had lined up exhibitions in Dubai, Venice and Milan. One is to increase market access for communities involved in beadwork through value addition, enhance income for women from bead making communities and poverty in line with agendas of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. For Prime Edition, I'm Zainab Said.